hot air locked over New Hampshire today. We have got what feels like a midsummer scorcher out there. Some live pictures now of Hampton Beach, where firefighters say six swimmers had to be helped out of the water this afternoon after getting trapped in the current. No major injuries, just an early warning for swimmers to be very careful out there while they enjoy the temperatures near record highs today. Chief Meteorologist Mike Haddad has been watching them all day long. So did we break any records, Mike? Well, Jen, at this point, no. We are a couple shy along the coast and a degree shy in Concord, but nonetheless, very close to those records today. Record high in Concord was 93 and officially 92. 90 along the coast, unofficially 88. Take a look at the readings out there right now. Still very, very toasty. Anywhere from the mid to upper 80s in the Monadnock region in the higher terrain to near 90 in the valleys. Take a look off to our west. Still a lot of warm air. And you will notice anywhere from the Great Lakes down through the Ohio Valley, we're running up near 90 degrees. There is a front that will back in from the northeast during the day tomorrow, but not before temperatures soar into the low 90s, possibly mid 90s, Merrimack Valley points west. Now, right along the coast, that sea breeze will kick in very early, be freshened by that onshore wind behind that front, and that means no record highs at the coast, but very close to the record high of 94 in the state capital tomorrow. Yes, eventually it does cool down close to the average. I'll let you know when that happens and if we have to see any shower and storm before that occurs in a few minutes. And those near record breaking temperatures had people searching for ways to stay cool today. It was a perfect day to grab the umbrella and head to the beach. And this was the scene at Wallace Sands in Rye. Just beautiful out there. Our Josh Davis is live now with more on how people are dealing with this hot weather. That includes you too, Josh.